We're going to get you to some new details now on this breaking news out of Upper Darby that we've been following for you all morning. And within the last hour, Action News has learned that more about what happened in the moments before shots were fired at police in a neighborhood overnight. Action News reporter Corey Davis live for us now at the police station with the update. Corey, what are you hearing? Yeah, good morning. So we just spoke with the Upper Darby police superintendent. He's telling us the suspect in this case had no regard for human life. And here's why he says that he says the suspect fired on officers as soon as they showed up to respond to a 911 call about someone prowling behind a house. This is home surveillance video from a homeowner on Terrace Avenue in Upper Darby. He says this suspect was trying to break into his house through the back door around one o'clock this morning. The homeowner says he was upstairs with his grandmother for safety while on the phone with police. We spoke with his uncle who arrived shortly after. My nephew. Your nephew. Yeah, he was watching the cameras on his phone and, to and relaying everything to 911. We are told police arrived within minutes and began searching with flashlights. But once they reached a car in the back driveway, the homeowner says the suspect fired at least four shots at the unsuspecting officers who were on the other side of the car. Here's a look at the vehicle bullet holes all along the driver's side. The homeowner telling us the car belongs to his grandmother. One bullet went through the kitchen window and landed on the floor. It's unclear if officers returned fire. Neighbors captured the response on their cell phones. Officers lined up along Terrace Avenue with guns drawn while shielding themselves behind patrol cars. I mean, I grew up here and it just doesn't happen. Nothing happens around here. There's no crime. Not in this area. Yeah, people out there really shaken up by this. The police superintendent is also telling us that they used heat seeking technology to track down the suspect. They say that he was actually hiding under a swing set in someone's backyard. The superintendent also telling us that the suspect did not go up, give up easily. He actually fought with police and we're told that one officer suffered a hand injury during that struggle. That officer is still in the hospital being treated. Another officer was injured while under gunfire and we're told that he has since been released. In the meantime, though, the superintendent says he's not ready to release any information about the suspect, but as soon as we get that, we will definitely let you know. But now reporting live here in Upper Darby, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Corey, we'll look forward to those updates. Thank you.